welcome to Learning More. Today we are thinking about addition for kids. We're thinking of through the different steps that you might want to visit in order to ensure that your child has a really good understanding and that they can apply their addition um, skills to different situations later on in their um, mathematical journey. So today uh, in this lesson we're going to think about using known facts. Now we have talked about number bonds and number facts and this feeds directly into this concept of using known facts. It's about the children using what they already know and applying it to different situations. This is a really, really important skill. It's a skill that doesn't always come naturally to children. It's a skill that sometimes needs to be taught and that's absolutely fine. It's about actually allowing children to see those um, relationships. It's about actually showing children those relationships so they can start to see them for themselves. So some children will see these relationships very, very naturally. Other children will need to be shown them and that's absolutely fine. We are not expecting children to be able to just immediately know that, well, I know that 1 plus 9 is 10, so one, a 10 plus 90 must be 100. We're not expecting that, but what we do want to is teach children how to use the facts that they know and how to apply them into different situations. So, for example, it's about talking through these situations with your child. It's about saying, is there anything that you know that could help you? If there isn't, actually identifying children identifying with children what they do know so for example I might know that 10 plus 10 equals 20 I might say to my child do you know what 10 plus 10 is do you know what double 10 is and they already hopefully tell me that yes they do know that 10 plus 10 is 20 so I'm now thinking well 10 plus 11 11 is quite near 10 isn't it well you know that don't you and you know that 10 plus 10 is 20 so you've got 10 and what's 11 made up of Oh, 11 is 10 plus 1, so you've now got two 10s, which you already know is 20, and you're adding on your 1, and actually talk through that process with your child. The 10 plus 10 is 20, they already know that. 10 plus 11, 11 is the same as 10 plus 1, so now you've got 10 plus 10 plus 1. And allowing children to actually see that relationship and see that they probably already know the answer to this without having to do too many calculations. So using known facts would probably fall into the remit of mental maths a lot of the time. Again, using those number bonds or those number facts, knowing that 1 plus 9 is 10, so being able to apply that to 10 plus 90 equals 100. So it's just identifying A, what you know, and then being able to apply it in different contexts. Can you use that to help you solve other problems? Even on to the idea of 45 plus 15, immediately children will be able to see their 5 and their 5 there. They know that 5 plus 5 is 10, so they know that they've already got 10 in there, and then they can just add their 10 numbers, their 40 and their 10, to get 50 and their 10 plus 60. So you'd actually talk through that with your child. They might say immediately, oh, I see a 5 plus a 5. They're both units. You might even want to identify 10s and units for your child, and they'll say that 5 plus 5 equals 10. So you've added your 5 and you've added your 5. I would actually even tick those off, cross them off so that your child can physically see what they're doing. Obviously when they start to do this in a more mental capacity they won't be ticking it off but I would, I'm a big believer in children actually writing down their thought process initially to then move on to that mental strategy so that a, they can see their thought process, they can see if there's any mistakes in there and you can see their thought process so that you can see is it a simple miscalculation or is it a problem with their strategy or their method. So they've done their 5 plus 5 which is 10 and then they just need to look at their 10s number. So they've got 40 and they've got 10 and again it's about talking through that place value to ensure that this is not 4, it is 40, this is not 1, it is actually 10. They've got their 40 and their 10, which is 50, and then they can add their two numbers together. So it's really about using what they know and putting that into context within a different range of calculations or problem-solving activities.